Hi everyone, this video is about dietary minerals. What are dietary minerals? These are dietary minerals are inorganic chemical elements. As you can see how these elements are arranged in a periodic table. These dietary minerals are essential for the normal growth and functioning of the body. They perform different functions in the body which include building and maintaining bones and teeth, regulating blood pressure. They are also involved in transmitting nerve impulses. These dietary minerals are required for production of energy and they also protect against different diseases. These dietary minerals are not produced by our body, so they must be taken from outside our body from the environment in the form of food and sometimes in certain conditions they are taken as dietary supplements. There are different types of minerals on the basis of their need and demand by the body. Minerals are classified into micro minerals also known as major minerals and micro minerals also known as trace minerals. Let's see both of them what are these minerals and in which quantity they are required by our body. What are macro minerals or also known as major minerals? Macro minerals are needed in larger amounts. How much? At least 100 milligram per day or maybe more than 100 milligram per day. What are the examples of the micro minerals? Macro minerals include calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, chloride, and sulfur. So these are the macro minerals and also known as major minerals that are required in our body to perform various functions. Now what are micro minerals? Micro minerals are those minerals that are needed in our body in smaller amounts. In how much? Less than 100 milligram per day. Now see what are the examples of the micro minerals. Examples of the micro minerals include iron, zinc, copper, fluoride, selenium, iodine, chromium, manganese, molybdenum. As this was all about the brief introduction of the minerals, in the our upcoming videos, in the second part and the third part, I will tell you about each one of these examples of the minerals. I will tell you about their introduction, then what are their functions, what is their RDA, recommended dietary allowance, what are their dietary sources? What the deficiency may lead to? And what happens if the intake is in excess? This was all about the overview of the minerals. Don't forget to watch the others part 2 and part 3 about micro minerals, major minerals and the other about minor minerals or micro minerals. Thank you for watching.